Hey guys, woo, I'm back baby, I'm back. Okay, so been gone since I think it was November 14th. My last upload was November 14th. It was a tutorial, if you haven't checked it out, that was one of my obsessions um, for the whole fall, but I'll get into that later. But um, lots have changed. Um, I'll quickly let you know what has changed. So no longer working at Estee Lauder. My last day was December 31st bittersweet um really i just gonna do the schedule anymore not me it was like um um it was kind of conflicting between my husband's schedule and then like what i needed to do there you know retail um so i don't know there was just a lot of signs from god that were really guiding me the direction to make this type of transition and so what i'll be doing now is full-time youtubing <laughs> and freelancing makeup so i'm just going to be doing our own business our own thing so i would appreciate all the absolute support that you would like to give me <laughs> you or anyone else you know um gotta make some money you know what i'm saying okay so anyways um yes uh that's going to be happening i'm really excited about it it's it's a big move but um i feel like it's the right move and um, I, I definitely can't stay away from my girls at work. Um, we love each other, I miss them, but they're probably tuning in. So I wanna say holla, hello girls. Um, I have other updates for you coming soon, but um, I didn't wanna do like just one video all about this. So I figured why not um, kick the new year off with a good old favorites video because I didn't get to do one for November course didn't have one for December yet, but it's not too late to do December so why not just get started and let's just get on with it shall we okay first things I gotta let you all know about that I'm really excited because it's a great affordable option and since I won't be working anymore and basically um, having to make my own money I'm gonna be hustling like a I don't know I'm just gonna be hustling like a hustler you know Hustle, baby. This kind of happened by accident. So I ran out of um, makeup wipes. I was just so busy with work and everything with the holidays. And um, all I had nearest to me were Xander's, my son's, um, wipes, baby wipes, right? So these are the Pampers Sensitive ones. I used to use these back in the day, early 20s, and I loved them. And then all of a sudden, my skin started getting really dry. It could have been a number of reasons or different factors contributing to that. But I stopped using these because I thought maybe, well, I don't know if it was the sensitive ones I was using. I just know I used to use baby wipes all the time. Now, I'm so glad that happened because you can get a pack of these for like $2 and some change. Or you can get like a three pack of them for like $6 or something like that. So really great value. It comes with, how many are in here? I don't know. Oh, 56 wipes are in here. Um, they're, they are the best at removing makeup. I can even remove eye makeup with it. It just takes a little bit of, um, a while. So I use something else for removing my, um, eye makeup. You know what? That's a favorite. Let me go get it. Okay. I got to include these because they are a favorite. They've been a favorite. So these are Almay's Longwear and Waterproof. They're these little circular thin, um, pads and they aren't oil free so if you have skin prone to dryness or they are dry um these are a nice option for you um they don't sting me whatsoever they're really gentle but yet they remove this stuff really well now they do leave like this residue like an oily residue so that's why i use um these but this removes your face makeup amazingly better than any makeup wipe from the drugstore um you know they're just so wet and, and saturated and they're just great. I feel like my skin's really clean after I wipe my stuff off with them and what a great value. So seriously, give these suckers a try. Ain't just good for your baby, they're good for your beauty regimen too, you know what I'm saying? Okay, next, let's go on. Uh, all right, so for foundation, um, I have switched and I have a whole routine going up and I should have brought those. So at first I had to switch because I used to use Estee Lauder's Double Wear, right? Um, this is what it looks like, by the way. It's a medium to full coverage foundation. Really perfection for warm months because I'm normal combo skin, so I will get oily in my T-zone. This is the foundation for me when it's warm, but when it's cold, I don't produce any oils, so I need something hydrating. So 
I transitioned over to, finally, I was so excited to get this, um, IT Cosmetics CC Cream. It has a 50 um, UVA and UVB protection, anti-aging hydrating serum is in there, paraben free, chemical filter free. Um, you shouldn't be taxed on this because I've learned from working in retail that when you have a drug fax on the back, you shouldn't be paying tax for that. Not everybody knows that who's working in retail though, so just let them know that. Um, I'm in the color Fair, it's perfect for me. It's a really yellow based foundation and I have a foundation routine video going up if it's not up already, probably not because I'm probably gonna do this one first. So that I put on on top of um, Roland Color Stays, they're liquid. I'm in the dried or normal combination skin. This is the shade Buff but I could go up one because it's a little bit too pink. I want something more yellow because I have yellow undertones. So I put this on top of it. I hate to have to use two things because this is hella expensive um, for a CC cream, but I mean, I yeah, it's just, I would totally do it anyways. I'm gonna be on like a tight budget, girlfriends, but um, ugh, this is worth it. It's totally worth it. If you can somehow get it, get it. If you have um, dry skin, um, aged skin, mature skin, wrinkles, lines, it is fantastic. Um, so I put it on top of this just because, um, like I said, that one gives me more yellowness, but they're both full coverage and this is a long lasting as well. And I put this also because I want the long wear of it. Okay, to apply that I've been using the Real Technique sponge. This is a perfect, not a dupe, but it's a perfect substitute for the $20 beauty blender. It's around $20 and those beauty blenders you can get different places, but this you can pick up at Ulta and it is like heaven sent. Genius, genius, genius. This right here, um, like you're supposed to wet it and squeeze everything out. So right now mine is wet and squeezed out. And this right here, this flat part right there is perfect for getting foundation on. That's how I've been doing it since I've been using this. I used to use this right here, which you can also get at Ulta, and it's still, they're both the same texture. Um, because of its shape, this one has a little bit more density to it. This one is almost like like masa, like dough or something when you play with it, because it takes a while to get back to its original form. But um, both of these are great options. I used to use this, but this one, that flat tip right there is nicer for getting foundation on. Um, but this one's really nice for kind of blending in that and pressing in that concealer, but they're both... Okay, my thing came off, um, turned off because I ran out of space. I have to delete some stuff. All right, let's just move on because I don't know how much space I have. Um, let's go to um, blushes, two brush blushes I've been using or that, that I use the most in December. They're both Estee Lauder. One is Peach Passion. Estee Lauder's blushes are $30 each, but oh, did I just break this again? I need to go exchange this. Um, this is Peach Passion. It's a beautiful peach color. It's so beautiful. And I love their blushes. I've collected them and I have a blush collection video coming up because um, they have that wonderful um, quality to it, how they just melt into the skin like NARS, except um, and they're same price point, except you get more pan size with these. So I definitely have collected these as I love, these are some of their standout makeup items besides their foundation, their blushes, love them. So that one and then Audacious Plum, which is a beautiful um, um, mauve color. And let me give you a swatch of that one. So there's that, beautiful. They're very pigmented. So there's Audacious Plum on the bottom and Peach Passion on the top. They're very pigmented. So you don't wanna take your brush and just like go in there like we have to with other blushes, not this one. That would be a mistake. So just barely tap it and then just build it up because um, they're really pigmented. You don't wanna look like a clown, I mean, you know. All right, those were my blushes. Okay, um, my gel liner or my liner period really, all I could do is I couldn't get enough of my Maybelline Blackest Black um, liner and my favorite liner or pencil or brush for applying liner is my 209 for MAC. So this is so far been the easiest and the just the best way. Now I am gonna get Bobbi Brown's liners because as much as I loved this for the longest time, um, I did realize that it does transfer and it isn't as long wearing as probably Bobbi Brown's is because Pressy says Bobbi Brown's like she actually has watery eyes and she messes with her eyes a lot and it doesn't budge. So I'm gonna switch over to that, but I still have a ton left. So I'll switch over to those. 
um, you know, for when I really need it, I'll just use this for if I don't really, you know, I'm not going to take pictures or anything like that. Um, eyeshadows, I couldn't get enough of just neutral shadows. I was just obsessed with warm neutral shadows. So I was using my Urban Decay um, Naked Original Palette. I do have a tutorial coming up with this because I know it was requested and I just didn't get a chance to do any filming for a long time. But the two I just blend into my crease are Buck and Naked. Um, okay, this is Buck, that's Naked. Um, just blending that into my crease and then like I would just use Virgin right here for the lid and for the um, brow bone highlight. That, that was like my go-to look for quick hurry, that. Um, I also really enjoyed though, I got this last year. Um, it, it was limited edition last year and it was Maybelline's iStudio Quad in Cozy Cashmere. Gorgeous. Dupes right here for some matte colors. Um, very warm. This one right here is, has some fallout but it's gorgeous for the um, lid. It's very, they're all very pigmented, but look at that. It's just stunning. It's beautiful. I love it. There's a swatch of that right there. See that? You see that sheen? Oh, beautiful. And then these other ones right here. So if you got this and you've neglected it, oh my God, I just love them. Look how pigmented. Look how beautiful and warm. Love them. So yeah, those were, oh, I just couldn't get enough of those either. It was like I had to fight myself to use something different, but I didn't want to. Bronzer, nothing new, my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. I love it, it's my Holy Grail bronzer. Um, this is what it looks like. Oh, you can't see it, let me, use, let me use this. So that's what that looks like, it's perfect for me. I do have yellow undertones, so just so you know. Um, but I love it. Okay, my um, lid primers. At first I was really stuck on Lancome's lid primer called, dang, hello called nude but it is a little bit too on the like almost peachy side like a little bit too dark for my skin tone but I was using it because of the quality of it because it's a nice tacky base like um like the NYX jumbo pencil and milk or like the matte paint pots MAC paint pots so I've been really liking soft ochre so I kind of transitioned to the second half when I got this because it's very yellow toned and I love that so loving those if you don't have this brush, you need to go get it. It's Sony Kashuk's number 109. Just, I am so in love with this brush because you can do so much with it. Um, oh, I just love it so much. It tapers at the top. It has the, just the perfect amount of fluffiness in it. It's perfect for the crease. It's perfect. You could do a whole look with this. You wouldn't want to, but you could. You know what I mean? It's just gorgeous. I love this. I would buy it in a second. I'm probably going to buy a backup. I just love it so much. You got to get it. I know Eileen got it from... Um, Nelia, ooh, I forgot her name. I'll, I'll list her down below. And she likes it. So seriously, you won't regret it. Go get it. Um, it's it's a must have in the collection. It is. It reminds me of the number seven from Lancome. So if you have that or you've seen it, it reminds me of that. Except Lancome's is a little longer, slightly fluffier. Okay. Studio Gear has one too like this. Except Studio Gear is, is a little bit fluffier. Um, okay. Lips, and then we're done. Oh, okay. So. My favorite perfume from Lancome, and right now it's just been my favorite perfume lately, is the La Via Belle. I have a little sample tube right here. I love it. I'm going to spray it right now because I haven't sprayed it yet. It's a warm, it's a warm, sweet vanilla smell. That's what it smells like. So if you like warm vanilla sugar from Bath & Body Works, you're going to love that. Um, and then lips. Let's get to lips. And then we're almost done. Okay, so when I wanted a bright, bold, vampy lip... Um, Estee Lauder has Stay Mulberry. It was discontinued, but they might have some left in stock. So this is Stay Mulberry. I love Estee Lauder's matte lipsticks. Um, they don't feel super drying and they really last really well, especially over a lip liner. So that's Stay Mulberry. Oh, gorgeous. Love it. Um, and then this is Wine from Estee Lauder. It's a beautiful wine color. Um, theirs comes with a little brush on top of there. I don't use that brush though, but um, this is Wine. Gorgeous matte wine color right there underneath it. Love their liners, really nice, long wearing. Um, and then this is matter of fact, which shouldn't be a surprise for me. This is from L'Oreal's Le Matte. And oh, these are just awesome. Oh, look at that. It's the very bottom one right here. Beautiful, love it. Don't like the smell of it because it smells like traditional L'Oreal lipsticks, but that's okay. I love the color, it's okay. Another lip I couldn't get away from and I'm wearing this exact lip combination today. 
It is the Caramel Lip Liner by Est I mean, uh, Mary Kay. And that's what that looks like swatched on the very bottom. Beautiful caramel shade to line that lip, make it look pouty. And then um, I fill it in with Revlon's Matte Balm in Complex. So then I fill it in with this right here. Give a really nice pouty, it's like a peachy nude. Gorgeous. And then I go in again, baby dolls, with um, Peach Petal from Revlon's Super Lustrous Gloss Line. So there's that right there. Ah, oh, you gotta have this. If you don't have it, you gotta go grab it. That is a must in a collection. Oh, love that. And then the very last thing, I can't, I can't finish this without letting y'all know, I love this makeup brush cleaner by Estee Lauder. I love that it comes with a pump. You get a lot in there. I've had this for a while, a few months already. I use it all the time, every day, pretty much, to clean off some brushes. We use this at the counter. It lasts a long time. You get in there, how many fluid ounces? You get 7.9 fluid ounces or 235 milliliters. It's the same size as the MAC cleaner, and I wouldn't doubt if it's the same stuff. I never use MAC, so I don't know. But because, you know, Estee Lauder owns Mac, so it may be made in the same company or something. But I love that this one actually comes with a pump because Mac's doesn't. So it's $15. If you haven't tried it, try it if you're in the market for a makeup brush cleaner. It's wonderful. Okay, I think that's it. I think that's it. So thanks so much for hanging out. I look forward to hearing from you guys. Any requests, comments, or anything like that, you just want to say hi. Thank you so much for your support and for hanging out with me. I love the company, and I'll um, see you all in the next video. Keep in touch via Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Keek. Pinterest, whatever. All right, bye.